rights them. do white people have that black stone? So the issue is, it's not necessarily in, written in the law. Oh, but so it it's is, like hidden. That's the whole point. That's oh. how marginalizing works. Oh, so it's kind of like, it's like a ghost. You see it one day and you don't. And because you as a white privileged person with money Wait, have never seen so it doesn't what, mean it doesn't exist. What privilege do I as a white person have that a black person doesn't? What can a white person do in America that a black person cannot do? Be specific. Name one thing. I also want you to take in mind that when a whole group is t their opportunities to succeed economically, let's say they don't get that higher paying job because they chose a white person instead of a black person, that makes Show me an, an example of where that happened recently. Wait, that makes an entire community more prone to being lower income. guys welcome back to my youtube channel so if you are new here please subscribe to my youtube channel so today i'm with a first of peter ah uh -huh. and today we are reacting to we're reacting to student triggered by mr american lives matters wow american life matters like the black life matters yeah. okay okay <laughs> let's okay have it. let's continue guys I noticed you're wearing an American Lives Matter yes. shirt. Yeah. What is your message to this audience right now by wearing that t-shirt? What is your intended message? Um, well, I think that we should put Americans above foreigners. Um, you know that the whole point of, you know, the movement like that came with Lives Matter was originally for Black Lives yes. Matter? Yes, I'm intentionally appropriating it. Yeah. And are you trying to eliminate the movement Black Lives Matter? Are you trying to not bring attention to it? I mean, well, BLM is not exactly a, a movement that I would be associated with, but I believe all lives matter. American lives matter. If you're a Black American, Hispanic American, I don't care. So all, all Americans lives matter. Would you even would you take the time to recognize a group of people that who have been marginalized historically and who are now asking for the same rights, the same? Um, the same privileges as white people in the society by wearing, what, by letting What rights them do white people have that black stone? So the issue is, it's not necessarily in, written in the law. Oh, but so it's it like is, hidden. That's the whole point. That's oh. how marginalizing works. Oh, so it's kind of like, it's like a ghost. You see it one day and you don't. And because you as a white privileged person with money Wait, have never seen so it doesn't what, mean it doesn't exist. What privilege do I as a white person have that a black person doesn't? What can a white person do in America that a black person cannot do? Be specific. Name one thing. So there are so many issues in our society. Name one thing. Now, I got to drill you in. Name one thing a white person can do that a black person cannot do. So the issue is racism, okay? You can technically do it but your life may be put at risk if you are found your, if you find yourself in certain areas where you might not be accepted by your race and then your life might be in So danger. okay what is racism There's can you define to me what racism is Racism well I don't have the exact description as it is seen in like AP style or like Wikipedia Can you just talk in the mic please I'm sorry yeah Sorry racism is the lack of opportunities because of a race, the kind of like putting a person to a side. Um, so can you name a single example in the them? last 20 years where blacks were discriminated on mass, where they've been put aside? Can you give me a specific you example? You can simply talk about police brutality and okay, so over wait. Incar mass incarceration. What percentage of murders do black Americans commit in America? So there you have a point of there is over policing in black communities, wait, no, no, specifically murders. lower I'm income communities. So Blacks commit murders because of police? I'm not talking about murders of police. You're twisting my words. So why do blacks you know commit so many murders? They don't. So they're 13% of the population, and they do 55% of the murders in America. So why? There, you're not even looking at the background of it. There is over-policing in lower-income communities. And There's under-policing in lower-income communities. Number two, you're, you're trying to say that over-policing, even if that existed, which it doesn't, leads to the fact that 13% of the U.S. population accounts for 55% of the murders? Wow. All life matters. Yeah, I agree with you on that too. Yes, no matter maybe if you're black or white, all lives matters a lot. It does not matter, you wish you were saying racist. Racist in terms of what? 
Like, I me, mean, I prefer life is a life. <laughs> no matter what. If you are black or if you are white, <clears throat> life is a life. I think what this guy was trying to stress there, um, what he was trying to stress there clearly was, I'm not talking about American life. When I'm talking about American, I'm not talking about the white American mm. or the black American. In American, we have Latino American, we have yes. Mexican American, we have white, we have Indian mm. American. So it's clearly all American. And so I agree with you clearly on that part when you said all life matters. Truthfully. Yes. So guys, let's continue, please. There is a target on people of color's backs, okay? So when a white person sees a person of color... Prove it. There is studies, there is research No, no, give me, give me one there example. Is... Give me one piece of evidence that there's a target on black people's back. In fact, I will submit to you there's the opposite. Black students can get into this college with lower test scores than white students. It's called affirmative action. So now white people are the people who are struggling? No, no, no. But are they no, the marginalized ones? I, I will go back to this, though. Can you name a specific example of what a black person cannot do that a white person can do? And be, again, specific. Anything. I'm talking about, there's, so racism as a whole is not written in the law because that's not allowed anymore. But it still exists. Then give me an example. There, I just told you. You said police brutality is your example. Why do you think blacks encounter police so much? They commit more crimes. There is and not just like a little bit more. No, there's un and there's also there's, there's under police. And how, how could you say such a thing? We have defunded the police in Philadelphia, New York, Chicago, and largely defunded it. We saw crime rates go up. I also want you to take in mind that when. A whole group is t their opportunities to succeed economically. Let's say they don't get that higher paying job because they chose a white person instead of a black person. That makes show me an, an example of where that happened recently. Wait, that makes an entire community more prone to being lower income, and then that create that is lower lower income communities are directly related to like more crime activity. So you, but let me ask you a question. What percentage of young blacks have both a mom and a dad raising them? I cannot think of a percentage right now to give you. Twenty-five percent. So only one out of four blacks in America have a mom and a dad around. Do you think that is a bigger issue to address <laughs> than racism? Do you think more dads is a better solution or tackling racism, so, which you say you can't even see in our laws? How could dads be connected directly like having, oh dads are very connected dads? what about okay when you have a dad around you're less likely to be violent as a male less likely to go and to prison so explain to me why all the fathers are leaving exactly why are they leaving question for you because why black women married so, the government and divorced the men that they were so once talk with about, talk about white people right now i'm sorry i'm I, i'm a people. realist not a racist why secondly Talk See, you can you can come up to the mic and call me a racist to my face, or are you an intellectual coward and want to shout it from thirty feet away? Oh my God! That's serious. Wow! Is he come to the mic and shout to my face if I'm a racist? Ah! Do you know? Ah, cool. That word. Eh? Ah, yeah. No, for, for, for me, Char Charlie is not really a racist. He's, no, no, no. He has no. not shown any yes. attributes of being a racist. Yes, that's you know, true. I think what he was just clearly pointing out there was because um, um, his point was she should not just say because low-income society um, preludes to crime, you know, it's from the family. If your family is well fixed, we won't be having crime in the society. Yes, and I agree yes, yes. with that too. Aside that, there is also some iota of truth, some level of percentage that low-income society you know, in these areas also um, brings up crime. Yes, that's true. Say, father is needed in the yeah. home. Yes. So, um, say, black black America should try and being their father, <laughs> daddy's home, being your daddy's home, <laughs> not just marrying the government. Not marrying the government. Yes. Because they get a lot of support from the government. Yeah, that's true. It's, a lot of benefit. Do you know, when I, when I find out that they were having a lot of benefit, I just said, that is the reason why divorce... Um, is is very high mm. there. That's true. Because there's no support, you just have to manage what you have. You, you just have to stay. <laughs> Come to Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, please comment below on any video you want us to react to. Comment below, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and stay tuned to our next video. 
Angel Fashion Store. Fashion, fashion makes, makes sense. sense.